Brian with Short Circuit of Brewers, and I am here with Tyler in the Stout Kettles and Tanks booth. And as you guys know, I've been kind of exploring some of the brew in a bag options with different systems, small batch systems, some larger brew in a bag type systems. Uh, one of their kettles actually caught my eye, and it looked like it's pretty well made for a brew in a bag type setup. Uh, can you give us a little bit of information on it, Tyler? Yeah, this is our 10 gallon brew in a bag basket. Um, so it's designed to do about three to seven gallon batches. Okay. I actually brewed on this a couple of weekends ago, and it was it was a, a breeze brewing on it because I was able to just have one vessel that I had to clean and do everything in one vessel. That is nice in the Bruna bag setup. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> for sure. um, yeah, I've got a three vessel herm system too, so it's like, you know, I know what cleanup is all about, so does she. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are we here to be janitors or to be brewers? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the way that I use it is uh, you put a, a, a brew bag over it okay. just to make a nice clean mash. Yeah, it looks like the um, holes in it. Let me pull, it up out, pull the basket up out of there. Looks like the holes in it would probably be maybe susceptible to getting a little bit of grain in there. So you do use like a, a, a fine mesh. Yeah, and okay. I haven't, uh, I'm going to try it someday without that just okay. to see how it goes. But, okay. uh, but yeah, so uh, it has uh, brackets on it. So we're able to lift it up after we're done mashing and we could just let it sparge out. Okay. Um, you could have a, a tea kettle off to the side if you want and heat that up to like 170 and you could even do your own do sparge, sparge okay. or you could do non-sparge right uh, sure. just leaves the options for that so. now this this uh this kettle it has a couple options as far as heating goes mm -hmm. um one of those obviously would be you know propane burner or whatever mm -hmm. and then what accommodation does it have for electric brewing uh so it has a port here in the back it okay. uh, allows you to either cap it if you want to do propane uh or you could put an electrical element in there. Okay. Um, I was actually able to pull it off uh, electrically doing a 110. Okay. Uh, with a 1600 watt element. Okay. I uh, was able to pull off the 8% evaporation rate still. Not bad. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you have those two options. Um, and they both work pretty well. Okay. So uh, where can folks find out more information about these? And do you, do you have a price on this uh, particular setup yet? Um, yeah, I believe it's a uh, 540. I'm probably about ten dollars off on that. But. Okay, and it includes the basket and and how many? How much of the other accessories does it include? Does it include the tri clover? Yeah, caps and so all it'll that? come with the tri clover and the caps, uh, gaskets, okay. and the ball valve. Okay, on the front. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Well, Tyler, I really appreciate it. I'll leave a link in the description down below for a place where you can find these, and if you want to see more from NHC. Be sure to hit that round Short Circuit of Brewers subscribe icon now. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you on the next video.